Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we will talk about the difference between the longitudinal and the transverse waves. Previously we knew what a longitudinal wave is. In order to know this, just click on this link here and for the transverse waves click on this other link. The difference between the longitudinal and the transverse waves. First, the transverse waves, the vibrating body moves up and down, while in the longitudinal waves, the body moves to the right and the left of the equilibrium position. So this is the first difference between the longitudinal and the transverse waves. In the transverse wave, the direction of vibration is perpendicular to the propagation direction. While here, the direction of vibration is along the direction of propagation. This is the first difference. We have to know that here, in the transverse waves, when the body moves up in the positive direction or down in the negative direction, this up part, which is called the amplitude, the amplitude made in the positive direction is called a crest, and the amplitude made in the negative direction is called a trough. Also here in the longitudinal waves, the amplitude made in the positive direction is called a crest, while the one made in the negative direction is called a trough. So, a complete oscillation is the distance between two successive crests or troughs. The complete oscillation is represented by the distance between two successive crests or troughs, or the distance of a crest and a trough. So, this is it for today, and see you next time. Thanks for watching.